In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Hiroshi Zuku's Hana Ikata fountain pen ink. I'll go over the specs, I will do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this ink coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is Hiroshi Zuku Hana Ikata fountain pen ink. And this is a very nice pink ink. As you can tell from the bottle, this is a very light ink. And Hana Ikata means, I think, like flower raft. It's basically like a, a cherry blossom floating on a river. So it's a kind of a cherry or secure blossom pink is how I would describe it. And in terms of the, the performance, I think it works really, really well. A lot of times lighter inks are kind of thin and dry feeling. That is not the case here at all. It has really excellent performance, not just for a light ink, but just ink in general. Very nice flow. I have no complaints about the performance of this ink. It's it's really good. Now, do I love the color? Uh, you know, I'm not a big pink ink kind of guy. And also, you know, lighter colored inks tend to be harder to read and, you know, there's just no getting around that here. I've tried it with a couple of different pens. This is the Kakimori pen nib up here and Lamy Ion Medium. I just did a little area here. And then we have a 1.9 millimeter stub nib from Lamy and a Platinum President Fine. Now, one thing that's harder about a light colored ink is you really need to make sure that your pen is clean if you want an accurate representation of the ink. And I think with this Platinum President, I wasn't perfectly clean, so it looks a little bit darker, but we'll be doing some live writing with clean ink from the Ink Miser. And, but just be something, certainly something to be aware of there. We do get some nice shading. There's not really any sheen to this ink. I don't know of any light inks that really have a strong sheen. If you guys know of some, let me know. Let's do some live writing here. We'll start with the Kakimori pen nib. And this is on a Paper Mind Cosmo Air Light hardcover notebook. This is my favorite paper for showing off ink. It just really makes ink pop and look good. It's it's such a good paper. Yeah. It really is kind of a str like you look at the color of the ink in the bottle and you're like that's going to be so weak and it really it really isn't. It it's surprisingly strong. And then we'll do the Kakimori brass metal nib here. We'll just try to get a lot of ink here so and look, as we can tell, I don't think I did such a good job on cleaning that. All right, bear with me a minute. I have to redo my ink miser here because I've now poisoned that. But that's the great thing about the ink miser is that you don't have to use a lot of ink. If you make a mistake like I just did, you're not wasting tons of ink. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. So we're back, clean, of clean ink now. Let's go. So we're going to, I'm going to be doing my folded nib here. Oh boy, and I'm dumping ink on the page here. I mean, when you use a wide pen like this, it really starts looking lighter, but with regular fountain pens, you get a, a richer color out of it. Let's take a look at the, the ink swatch here. So here it is with a couple of other Hiroshi Zuku pink inks here, and you can see that this is definitely the lightest. Honey Kata is a pretty new ink in the Hiroshi Zuku line, and it is part of the standard line. It's not a limited edition. I think it, it has a really nice look to it, but it is definitely the lightest of the standard Hiroshi Zuku pinks. I'll put a picture on here that's properly, you know, color adjusted up on the screen. Now, in terms of water resistance, I can try dripping. Oop, there's two there. 
and we can doesn't feel like there's that much to come off uh, I mean it's so light but it this has been on here for I mean this is fully dry I did this writing sample a few days ago I and again I don't know if this is good but there we go so in terms of dry time this is a pretty fast drying ink as you would expect for a lighter ink this ink tends to dry between 15 and 20 seconds in terms of water resistance I messed up my test a little bit here I got to get better with this water resistance thing here but I mean you can see the 1.9 millimeter where I dropped water on it it's almost completely gone so I wouldn't expect strong water resistance out of this ink overall if you like a light pink kind of cherry blossom ink pretty nice performance wise and for Blake's broadcasts viewers and subscribers you do get 10% off with code BB10 at check out. So what are my pros and cons for Hiroshi Zuku's Hana Ikata fountain pen ink? I love Hiroshi Zuku ink. The performance is always really excellent and I have to say I'm impressed that an ink that is this light in color has such good lubrication and flow. Now it doesn't, it's not quite as good as Tsukio, but it definitely does still feel lubricating even though it is on the lighter side. And of course I think that it's priced pretty fairly at around $24. You get a really nice bottle that's easy to get all of the ink out of that bottle. It looks pretty. It's something that you would like to have on your desk, or at least I would like to have on my desk. Again, it's well behaved. I have no issues cleaning it out of pens. It flows nicely. It has not given me any problems. So very happy with that. Now in terms of cons, I am not really a pink ink kind of person. and. I, with lighter inks like this, they can be harder to read, so definitely not something I would use in a professional setting. It's definitely a more casual ink, but it is a nice pink, you know, Sakura Cherry Blossom color ink, and that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this ink? Do you like this ink? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you like this video, please hit that like button, and if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and until next time.